What's up guys, it's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and in today's video, I'm taking you through a day in the life on a Sunday. This was a day that was filled with really delicious food and quick and easy meals that were inspired by some fresh produce that I found at the farmer's market. So I'm gonna take you to the farmer's market with me and show you how I used what I found there to make really, really good food throughout the day. I'm also gonna be showing you some of my favorite pantry staples and how I use them, including how I use plain old balsamic vinegar to make a homemade balsamic reduction or balsamic glaze, and it's so good on the grilled peach salad that I had with dinner. My favorite part of the video might be the very end, so make sure you stay tuned. But before that, I'm also gonna be sharing a quick little home haul with some new plates and cups that I got that I think are really pretty. And I have some vegan and cruelty-free beauty products, including a natural deodorant that I love. I've been using Native for a really long time now, and so I teamed up with them to show you some new scents that I picked up that I think are perfect for summertime. I'll talk all about that later on in the video, but for now, let's get started with breakfast. I've really been enjoying this creamer and I find that it's a little bit more affordable than some of the others on the market and it's really creamy and coffee. So on this Sunday, I just sipped some coffee, I had water, I made my bed, and when I was ready for breakfast, it was super fast and easy because I already had these baked oatmeal muffins already prepped, and I will put the recipe down below, but if you missed my last video, they basically are made with oat flour, bananas, and berries, so good. And then I made like a little yogurt bowl using my favorite almond milk yogurt from Whole Foods. I warmed up the muffins so they were really soft, kind of like banana bread. And then I had some nectarine, some fresh strawberries, and then tahini on top. I get loads of questions about tahini and there are several brands that I like, but this one from Kroger is one of my favorites. I love that it's salted so it's super flavorful and the consistency is like silky, velvety, rich i just I, if you've never had it this is the one to try it is so delicious and i use this to make sauces but i also drizzle it on oatmeal in the morning and on like grain bowls later in the day i took my vitamin because b12 is important and then i got ready to go to the farmer's market Hey guys, so I just got to the Malibu Farmer's Market and I'm really excited because I've never been to this market before. It's actually, it feels like it's not summer because it's foggy and it's kind of chilly. So um, it was kind of a cozy drive, listened to a good podcast and now I'm going to go inside and, um, and get some fun stuff. This was my first time going to the Farmer's Market since shutdown. So this was a really interesting experience. As you can see, there was tape put up so that you can't actually go up to the produce which is totally fine you just tell them what you want and how many and then they bring it to you in a basket so it felt very safe and it was easy to social distance I'm gonna show you everything that I got when I get home because somebody wants my spot give this video a thumbs up if you are also the kind of person who tends to have leftovers for lunch I find that the idea of leftovers can be really boring, but the way that I love to make sure that nothing goes to waste is to turn them into something a little bit different at lunchtime rather than having the exact same meal for dinner night after night after night. So what I did was I took some frozen tortillas, and these are my favorite by the way, and I just microwaved them for about 30 seconds. And I had some cabbage that I wanted to make sure that I used, so I just dressed it with some fresh lime juice. And then I put, I did two different tacos. On one, I did some leftover tofu scramble and this one was so good because it had some tempeh bacon kind of scrambled all throughout with some salsa and cheddar cheese. So it was like very smoky and like just extra rich and flavorful. And then the other one had some lentil meatballs that I was meal prepping. 
and then I put my creamy dill salad dressing on the lentil meatballs and it was amazing. So I will put the sauces, the recipe for both sauces in the description box, but this was a really fun way to enjoy leftovers in an all new different kind of way and it was super flavorful and fast. Hey guys, so I just got back and obviously I showered and I thought I would show you some of the vegan products that I've been really liking. So if you remember from my grocery haul video, I showed you that I got this deep conditioning treatment. It's like you use it in between your shampoo and your conditioner and it's like a scrub for your scalp and it really helps to get rid of buildup and especially right now with it being hot outside and like all sweaty and stuff, um, it just feels really good. It's really cooling and then once you rinse it out, you put your regular conditioner and I've just been loving that. So this is like something I do usually on the weekend. And then when I get out of the shower, I love using a moisturizer and this one, I get the gigantic guy. I sometimes get this, where do I get this? I get this at Target, Whole Foods. I think Thrive Market also carries it, but I change up the scent all the time. And right now I have the coconut scent. I think I prefer the unscented kind, but I really like this formula, so I thought I would show you. And then for deodorant, as I mentioned earlier, I teamed up with Native because I'm still using them. It's the only deodorant that I use and I have been since December. So this one is the coconut vanilla smell, and especially when I use my coconut lotion, I love like pairing these together because I just feel like it matches. And what I like about the coconut vanilla is that it's not like coconut, like strong pina colada type of coconut, which would also be fine but this one is like coconut vanilla it kind of reminds me of coconut cake like if you've ever had a whiff of a, like a really delicate beautiful coconut cake that's what this reminds me of but this is the one that I'm wearing right now and it's the one I reach for the most often I just feel like it's very summery it definitely smells floral obviously because it has cactus flower and poppy but it's just like a warm fresh clean Scent and I love it. So those are my two favorite right now. They are vegan, cruelty-free, natural. They don't have like aluminum or parabens. So yeah, I thought I would tell you about it. Ordinarily, three of these would cost $36, but you can get them for $24, which is 33% off if you use the link and the code in the description box below. So definitely check them out. Definitely check out these scents if you haven't already. And if you have already used them, let me know what you think of the scents and like which one is your favorite in the comments below. But anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed and I think I'm gonna read for a little while because it is a Sunday after all. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you some things that I got from Ikea yesterday. I got two of these little cups, which you would have seen me drink out of this morning because I am obsessed. I was so excited for my coffee this morning because I have these now. I think they're a really good size as well and they're just so, so pretty. So really happy with this find. I also got some little saucers and I know it's strange to buy saucers without buying the cup but I did this because for food photography it's nice to have small plates for things like cookies and muffins that you can kind of put a couple on a surface you know and um, and have like a, a cool looking photo and then I got these really cool side plates they're like this grayish taupish color and they're a bit matte and matte plates are really great for food photography too if any of you guys are interested in food styling that way you don't get a glare okay so these might be my favorite things that i got they're these little side bowls i think these are going to be really pretty to have fruit in in the morning but i also just think that they are gorgeous again for food photography i love the pattern i think also just as decor throughout my kitchen Oh, I love them so much. This color blue just really makes me happy and I love the design. And then similarly, I got these teacups and they have the same pattern but opposite. So this one is like the blue and white and then this one is like the white and blue version and you can see they kind of go together but they're not exactly matchy matchy and I love these. These are going to be really pretty for obviously serving tea in but then also as um, like little planters for succulents because they don't actually have... They don't have a handle. So this is my little haul and I'm gonna be showing you the food items that I got in a separate video, so stay tuned for that because there are quite a few vegan goodies that you can get at Ikea. So I'm gonna be doing a whole video about that with some recipes, so definitely stay tuned. 
All right, so let me show you what I got at the farmer's market. I got a bunch of different kinds of stone fruit because they are in season right now. I got plums and nectarines and I was really excited that they had such a wide variety. So I got one of each. I got some fresh dill because I'm loving dill right now. It's such a summery herb to me. Basil, two different squash that I'm gonna use later on and some spring onions. I can't recommend having fresh herbs on hand enough because it's a really quick and easy way to add tons of flavor to really any dish. I put it on everything, so I usually have a few different fresh varieties available at all times. Dinner was one of the best meals I've had in such a long time. It felt like a restaurant quality meal and it started with this grilled peach salad. Like I said in the intro, I made my own balsamic glaze and it's super easy, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. You just need regular balsamic vinegar and you're just gonna let it simmer basically until it reduces and thickens into this really glossy, sweet, delicious, tangy glaze that is really good on salad. It's also really good on like, if you make a sandwich or any pasta, it's good on so many things. So I just let that simmer away and in the meantime, I just grilled up one of the nectarines that I picked up at the market. And after about 15 minutes or so, it will be nice and thick like this. I put the exact directions in the description box below, so if you have any questions, make sure you check that out. So to assemble this, I just put lots of fresh arugula onto a plate. Then I added sunflower seeds. I am loving sunflower seeds right now. They are so delicious and flavorful, especially when paired in a salad like this, when you have something a little sweet, a little tangy, a little creamy. It's, it's the best like crunchy nuttiness and it also adds a ton of nutrients and it's a really affordable seed in comparison to some of the others on the market. Like nuts and seeds can be a little pricey. Sunflower seeds are a great budget friendly option. So I added that with some dried apricots, the grilled peaches, and then this whipped feta, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. And I dressed it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and this beautifully glossy, velvety glaze. This on its own would be a really delicious like lunch or you could kind of add a little bit more, maybe add some chickpeas or something and turn it into a really delicious meal on its own. But this is, amazing and especially when paired with this super summery pasta that i made it was like the most summery dinner i've had and it was so good this pasta really celebrates the squash and well i guess they're both squashes squash eye <laughs> i'm just kidding um but yeah it really celebrates the produce that i found at the market so the first thing i did was i sauteed some of the spring onions that i found at the market on this day and I added some garlic and then I deglazed the pan with some white wine. Now deglazing is just a matter of kind of getting all those caramelized bits of onion and garlic off of the bottom of the pan. The alcohol will cook out and the flavor will reduce and it just creates the most delicious combination, especially when you have like garlic involved. A white wine garlic sauce is just a winner every time. Now in a lot of Italian sauces, they'll use anchovies or anchovy oil to create an umami, salty kind of backbone flavor, I guess. And you can achieve a really similar flavor profile with miso. So I used some miso and then I added a little bit of heat with red pepper flakes. And I just added a splash of water just to kind of keep the pan from getting too dry. You could also do oil if you wanted. And then I added some oregano and lots of black pepper. Then the star of the show was the various squash that I chopped up here. I got these at the market today and they were so fresh, so in season, just like these beautiful orange cherry tomatoes that I had on hand already. And because they're so delicious and so perfectly ripe this time of year, I really don't wanna cook them for too long, especially since especially the squash and zucchini are very high in water. So if you cook them too long, they'll get mushy. And I think a lot of people who say they don't like zucchini and squash, it's because of the texture, but it does not have to be a mushy vegetable at all. So I think the key, it's such a small difference, but sometimes that's the difference with cooking is like just making sure that you get the texture right. So in order to do that, you just wanna let this cook for about a minute and then set it aside while you make your pasta. For my noodles, I'm gonna use a red lentil spaghetti and then just a regular spaghetti and I'm gonna mix them 50-50. 
The trick here is to really just cook them until al dente. Just like the veggies, we don't want anything to be too mushy because everything is gonna cook together in the sauce later on. To create the sauce, I just added some of the pasta water, fresh basil from the market, and this whipped feta, which is basically very similar to my tofu ricotta. It's something that I whipped together in the blender. It has lemon, nutritional yeast, and I add some vegan feta to that, and it creates this really tangy, creamy sauce. Now, if you don't have access to vegan feta, I have some other options. Really, any spreadable cheese will do but it creates this really creamy spread that you can use for sandwiches, on cheese plates, or to mix together to make a really great pasta sauce like this one. So I add in the pasta noodles and some vegan Parmesan cheese, and this is going to melt over the noodles and melt into the sauce and create something that's really, really flavorful. I love this sauce because it's thick and creamy and as you can see it coats the noodles really nicely but it's still light. We've got the white wine and the garlic and the basil coming through but this dish is really all about letting the flavor of summer shine. So we have the vegetables that are really nice. They still have a brightness and a, and a, and a bite to them. We've got the beautiful warmed through cherry tomatoes and then I like to really kind of tie everything together with a little squeeze of lemon juice and some more basil on top. These are the kind of meals that just make me feel so excited about the season because it's all of the best that the season has to offer in one beautiful meal that is extremely plant focused but very very flavorful and i feel like it is just such a satisfying hearty filling meal but it's also aesthetically really beautiful and even though there are a few steps everything is really easy which i think also kind of plays up the whole summery kind of laid back feel so all the recipes that you saw here are in the description box below, but I think maybe my favorite part of the day was after dinner. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new or got some new ideas. If you have any questions about the recipes that you saw in this video or about the IKEA haul or any of the natural cruelty-free vegan products that I showed in this video, definitely let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and check out the description box for that link to try native because like I said, it's my favorite deodorant. The scents are so nice. They last all day and I really like the formula. So definitely check them out if you haven't already and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye.